A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God called to the man. Where are you? he asked. I heard the sound of you in the garden, he replied. I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Who told you that you were naked? he asked. Have you been eating of the tree I forbade you to eat? The man replied, It was the woman you put with me. She gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Then the Lord God asked the woman, What is this you have done? The woman replied, The serpent tempted me, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, be accursed beyond all cattle, all wild beasts. You shall crawl on your belly and eat dust every day of your life. I will make you enemies of each other, you and the woman, your offspring and her offspring. It will crush your head, and you will strike its heel. To the woman he said, I will multiply your pains in childbearing. You shall give birth to your children in pain. Your yearning shall be for your husband, yet he will lord it over you. To the man he said, Because you listened to the voice of your wife and ate from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat, accursed be the soil because of you. With suffering shall you get your food from it every day of your life. It shall yield you brambles and thistles, and you shall eat wild plants. With sweat on your brow shall you eat your bread, until you return to the soil as you were taken from it. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. The man named his wife Eve, because she was the mother of all those who live. The Lord God made clothes out of skins for the man and his wife, and they put them on. Then the Lord God said, See, the man has become like one of us with his knowledge of good and evil. He must not be allowed to stretch his hand out next and pick from the tree of life also, and eat some and live for ever. So the Lord God expelled him from the Garden of Eden, to till the soil from which he had been taken. He banished the man, and in front of the garden of Edom he posted the cherubs and the flame of a flashing sword to guard the way to the tree of life. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. A great crowd had gathered, and they had nothing to eat. So Jesus called his disciples to him and said to them, I feel sorry for all these people. They have been with me for three days now and have nothing to eat. If I send them off home hungry, they will collapse on the way. Some have come a great distance. His disciples replied, Where could anyone get bread to feed these people in a deserted place like this? He asked them, How many loaves have you? Seven, they said. Then he instructed the crowd to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves, and after giving thanks he broke them and handed them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them among the crowd. They had a few small fish as well, and over these he said a blessing and ordered them to be distributed also. They ate as much as they wanted, and they collected seven basketfuls of the scraps left over. Now there had been about four thousand people. He sent them away, and immediately, getting to the boat with his disciples, went to the region of Dalmanutha. The Gospel of the Lord <laughs> 